Dex. I can't lie to you, buddy. Your methodology blows my mind. That was, I think, the single best paper I've ever heard. And as for telling people to go fuck themselves in the opening, all the power to you, man. I think the last time I had an attention-grabbing opening, I told the professor I forgot what the paper was supposed to be about. I got a B on it. I don't know how I did. Anyway, it is, I think, the single best way to ask someone out, except for this guy I knew who asked a girl to prom by rolling down the window to her car without her knowing, and then he put broken glass on the seat and a brick with prom written on it. It was pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. She pretty much shit her pants and she almost killed him. But it was worth it. Anyway. <clears throat> Alright. There's only one thing with the paper, man. You were talking about... Actually, I forgot. But you did say no soldiers, no freedom. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's cool. But not really. Anyway. Oh, right. You were saying if there was no soldiers, it'd be dangerous. Because, like, I was thinking, if there were absolutely no soldiers, it wouldn't be dangerous at all. Because there'd be no one who was going to fight you because they don't have soldiers because there are no soldiers. But if there were people doing crime... Huh. Okay, never mind. Except you're talking about people risking their lives and them not doing it if it involves risking their life. So, like, if there were soldiers, then the criminals wouldn't want to rob stuff because the soldiers might kill them, and that would be risking their lives. But since it's a risk to their lives... The robbers wouldn't be robbing, so the soldiers wouldn't have anyone to shoot and no one to shoot back, which then makes their job not a risk to their life. Although that could work in the opposite respect, to have the burglars running around robbing everything. There's no answer, trust me. Either way, for people who noticed or are paying attention, my gloves are royally fucked. I know, I like them. They were like a dollar. I was being a hobo for Halloween, so I needed gloves without fingers. And when you get really cheap gloves, like the strings all come out. But, you know, for the record, if you haven't figured this out at some point in your life, wearing gloves with the fingers cut off makes you feel more badass than anything else in existence. Except for like fucking three women at the same time while simultaneously smoking eight cigars and waste firing an MG42 into the air. Killing people at the same time. Okay, but that aside, fingers without gloves is the way to go. Okay, I've wasted enough of your time. Thank you for watching.